the crypto market experienced one of its darkest hours on the 3rd of January as the price of Bitcoin plunged below $42,000. The collapse occurred so fast amid rumors and most of them that all Bitcoin ETF applications were denied. Um, in a report published by Matrixport, the digital asset firm opined that the applications did not meet the desired requirements. Um, it also mentioned uh, that SEC Chair Gary Gensler's hesitation to embrace crypto could play a part in the rejection. Uh, however, and crypto's investigation showed that uh, matrix Sport was not the major reason for the price reaction. Uh, so, uh, this was because the, uh, the piece was an opinion and matrix Sport did not have the clout to nuke the market. Also, there were posts explaining how the firm CEO Jihan Vu did not have the credibility for matters related to the ETFs. And, and they see a different uh, smell way. These were aware of them. They sell at Aston's policies. They often watch them back next week. Uh, the real Matrix Port report uh, is not fake news, as many are reporting. Uh, it's an analyst giving an opinion. We all do it daily. Uh, we are mostly wrong. It went viral. Uh, they are allowed their opinion. Um, uh, they couldn't know that their research report would you know, rock the market. So Wolf of All Streets at Scott Nelker, January 3rd, 2024. From ABC Crypto's findings, the report became fake news because a major publication amplified it. So participants panicked and started taking drastic actions while causing over $500 million in liquidation. Uh, this incident was similar to the one that happened in October 2023. At the time, another major publication posted that BlackRock was given the go-ahead to launch its ETF. As a result, the Bitcoin price jumped from $27,000 to $30,000 within the twinkle of an eye. And moments later, the publication apologized for misleading the market. The apology then sent BTC back to $28,000. But in between all that, traders with open contracts felt the heat outside as 85 million was wiped out. Uh, during that time, uh, Michael O'Work, uh, chief market strategist at Jones Trading, said that the fake news about the Bitcoin ETF being approved highlights the challenge of protecting investors in an unregulated space that attracts shady operators and rampant speculation. As an extremely volatile market, Fake news poses a serious threat to players genuinely concerned about the development of the industry. However, it is also important to mention that if the entire blame should not be passed to publications, pushing out erroneous information. Regarding the latest episode, people familiar with the matter have cleared the air on the development. For instance, Fox Business reporter Eleanor Tarrant posted that proceedings regarding the Bitcoin that ETFs were approaching the final stages. Uh, the update provided on the 3rd of January read, uh, while the final decision has not been made, uh, sources close to the proceedings say the SEC could begin notifying issuers of approval on Friday with trading beginning as early as next week. ETF analysts and issuers alike remain profited that a favorable decision from the SEC will be made on or before January 10th as the SEC continues to meet with key players on the map. At press time, the Bitcoin price had recovered, changing hands at $43,129. Should the SEC make a positive declaration about the ETFs by the above date, players are optimistic that BTC would climb above $50,000. Uh, one of those projecting a hike is Christopher Inks. Inks is a trader and prides himself as a market psychology expert. According to him, Bitcoin might break and hit $53,267 within a short period. Uh, as mentioned uh, on the show with the Scott Milker this morning, we are seeing a nice rally off this morning's flush. The H4 candle closed above the hourly pivot. Daily is looking even better. Breaking out higher should see a target of about 53267 at least on this chart. So it means why Bitcoin, BTC, uh, their screws. Uh, there's so many seeds in the middle of the old times. Uh, there's so many children uh, that studies everything are very useful. Uh, that's the way the changed uh, where tools. At the same time, the emerging reports were not confirmation that the SEC would not deny the applications. In the meantime, on-chain data 
showed that BTC's training volume reached an incredible height. At press time, the volume was $47.38 billion. Uh, the surge in volume was a sign that the dip was getting filled very fast. Like the volume, Bitcoin's weighted sentiment climbed to 219. Weighted sentiment shows the unique social volume or comments linked to a project. So the positive reading suggests that the broader market has its eyes set on a potential ETF approval over the next few days and the metrics imply that players have moved on from the fake news and are now standing their ground based on personal sentiment. However, both longs and shorts risk liquidation as shown by the liquidation heat map. The liquidation heat map predicts the price levels where large-scale liquidation events may take place. According to AMB Crypto's analysis of the high black capital indicator, shorts with targets between 40,750 and 41,250 could be liquidated. Also those with open positions uh, believing that Bitcoin would, would drop to $36,000 um, could be affected by a flush for longs. There was a cluster of liquidity around $47,100, so the traders may need to, to be cautious uh, around that level. In conclusion, recent events have shown that cryptocurrencies are still vulnerable to inaccurate information. Uh, despite Jihan Wu's clarification that its analysis was not intended to collapse prices, crypto media have to shoulder the responsibility of not partaking in this intentional or unintentional misrepresentation. Uh, read Bitcoin's price prediction 2023-2024. Um, uh, however, it is unlikely that the tremor of the 3rd of January would influence the SEC's decision per the spot Bitcoin ETFs. Uh, then, though the pathway looks like a, a promising one for approval, um, it's important to wait till the regulator itself uh, confirms its stance. Um,